Welcome back, welcome back. MTG Joe here, and we are going to be playing some combo today. It is a Smothering Tithe, Emergency Powers, uh, Treasure Win kind of deck. Um, so basically, Smothering Tide, whenever an opponent draws a card, they can pay two, otherwise we get a treasure token, treasure tokens being you pay one mana and add any color. Um, so what we do is play a bunch of enchantments, ramp up in a traditional blue-white control deck with Smothering Tide, play out a couple Smothering Tides and Mirror Maid to copy Smothering Tide. From there, um, what we can do is with Fae of Wishes, we go to our sideboard and we get emergency powers. So emergency powers is each player shuffles his or her hand, library, and graveyard into their deck, draws seven, and then you get to cast a card for free. Uh, with that, you get multiple treasures because the opponent likely won't be able to pay for all those card draws. And then you likely draw into Fae Wishes again, or you play out the Fae Wishes from Adventure, bounce it back to your hand, recast it, go get another emergency powers, and then basically keep getting your emergency powers until you draw and get a bunch of tokens and then you go to your sideboard and then you get Tezzeret which deals with its plus you can deal X damage where X is the number of artifacts the treasure tokens are artifacts um, in the sideboard you have a bunch of answers as well you have board wipes if need be mass manipulation you could dance of the mance if you have a lot of stuff in the graveyard to kind of win thought distortion to take stuff out of their hand planar cleansing um, post board you have like vetoes and some arcans to change up the game plan a bit but the rest of the deck's pretty straightforward um, you got your births you got your omens to fairy uh, shatter the sky four elspeth conquers death some cavaliers to also target your stuff but also bring back um, and then in this particular version we're not playing narset traditionally you'll see narset with uh, smothering tide to lock your opponent out you draw seven they can only draw one um, but in this particular instance, I want them to draw cards. Uh, with Teferi backup, you can play around counter spells. But with us drawing the cards, then we get the treasure tokens from it. Um, so I'm playing Chemister's Insight instead of that. Um, what I did want to change is with the mana base, um, I do want a castle. Two castle Vantress and probably just go down to Fabled Passage. Don't really need the fill the yard elements of it, um, but I think the scry would be more relevant. And we're not really gonna go on the creature beatdown plan, so I'm not gonna go Arden Veil. Vale. Um, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, we did get Mythic, which was awesome. Uh, with the Gruel deck, I'm top 100 right now. I was 73 when I hit Mythic. Um, so I'm just gonna test this one out uh, in the traditional ladder. I'll play best of three. You can probably get away with playing this as a best of one. Uh, deck, but we'll see how things go here. Uh, so the gameplay of some of the Gruel deck uh, that I got me to Mythic will be up tomorrow. Um, if you're catching this out of order, then it's already up. Uh, but as always, if you want to catch any of the content we play on stream, uh, everything gets archived to my YouTube channel. If you do enjoy the content, if you can, drop a like, comment, or subscribe, or a follow on Twitch. All are free and easy ways to help out the channel. Um, these uncertain times, trying to get as much content out there for you, for you folks, uh, keep you entertained uh, while we're all locked in our houses. So the only downside of playing like this is opponents might concede early. Uh, we'll keep this hand. We got the tithes. Really, just looking for like a board. Uh, it's very good, actually. Hey, Quantum, how's it going? So if this is like Reclamation, then we're pretty good. Hey, Shrudo, uh, day's going well. Done a lot of stuff around the house. How's your day been? Esper. Um, Esper has Othakaya, so I'm going to plus here. Thirst for Meaning, Main Phase. Uh, I wanted them to have that when we had Smothering Tithe out.
I'm just going to keep plusing to fairy. If they want a murderous rider, it they can. Ooh, they pay so we don't get the token. That's actually quite interesting. Um, I think we just drop another tithe, and then I can mirror made the tithe. I've got it. Yeah, it's tough. Like I'm, I'm glad I'm mostly digital right now, but um. Like if this was a year and a half ago, I used to be in like a EDH play group where we used to play once a week, twice a week for a couple hours and like it sucked not to be able to do that right now. Have you tried um, like makeshifting any rigs on your computer? Just like there's a lot of people with like webcams and stuff or just like their cell phones. Um, let's go... Bertha Melides, get a land, Mirror Maid, the Smothering Tide, bounce this, give us some card advantage, just play this tapped, just since they don't know about this here. Okay, so if we draw Fae. Then we're going to town. Oh no. Oh no. Um, let's go birth here. So I think what we want to do is this turn just plus because I want this off the board when uh, we kind of combo off because that can actually kill us. And as long as the opponent's kind of paying into this tax, we're okay. I'm gonna scry on their end step. Wow, opponent's really into paying this. Uh, Conquer's death's not bad. So we take one here. So we conquer's death here. So because we have conquer's death, I'm okay if the fairy dies. Yeah, it's a good way to just keep active with magic at least. Um, I'm probably going to burn the treasures to scry, to be honest. We're not really getting that far ahead. Like, we got all the mana in the world. Okay. So they're finally giving in and paying some mana. Okay. That works out well for us. Three cards, three triggers. I'm pretty sure that actually drains their clock, too. Nine triggers on the stack. So we got a ton of mana. We need a payoff. And that's not land. Omen of the Sea and then Mirror Maid copying Omen of the Sea sounds sweet. Nice. Yeah, is it Sahili's? Uh, I actually posted one on uh, Instagram today. It's with the new cards. Um, it's that new command or the new legendary that cycles. Uh, so brew some. I'm working on some decks for the streamer early showdown. Okay, we're good on that. Let's just draw a bunch of cards. All right. Well, we're drawing them all. Because if I find Faye, I'm doing this now, because if we find Faye, then I can go off and then we can win through here. I 
I'll keep canisters. Don't worry, I got you. So we'll canisters on their uh, their end step. Yeah, if for anyone like chat or on like YouTube after, if there's any decks uh, you want to see during the stream early showdown, any kind of brew arounds, anything like that, or you have decks that you want to see, I'm I'm gonna get access to the cards of the day early, so and the full set. So gonna be playing a bunch of videos. Usually try to brew up what I can. So we're just going to auto pay here, go through. I have the Conqueror's Death to deal with theirs. I think I'm going to prioritize just keeping the lands right now. Okay, we got Faye. So we're going to go off. Um, no, it's two weeks, I think. Or I have no idea. No, so 15th is advanced streaming, and then 16th is the public. Oh, no. Okay, so this is Esper, draw cards, take damage, and we're a deck that draws cards. So Conqueror's Death needs to hit Omnixus before we can go off. So we might actually have to wait a turn. Interesting, so they bounce one but then we get three. Okay, so... Play that out. Start off. Conquer's Death. Take out a Nixless. They're tapped out. Fay of Wishes. Emergency Powers. All right, so they've seen enough. Basically, we are gonna loop through our deck. Um, in this matchup, I think all I wanna do, I'm gonna bring in the vetoes. I'm gonna get rid of, actually Cavalier's probably good here. And this can copy theirs as well. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the shatters. I can always like tutor for one if need be, and then just bring in these, kind of go more offense. And I think we just play it out like that. I can always fetch the thought distortion if need be. Hey Titans fan, it's going well. Uh, hit mythic today, happy about that. Just playing some brews now, so blue white smothering tides. How's it going with you? Keep this hand. We can stick this to fairy. We're probably pretty good. Uh, the gruel list we were talking about the other day. Um, so switched after we got rid of um, like the pelt collectors. So I dropped the four pelt collectors, and then two gallias, and then I brought three love struck. So three love struck two robbers and one great henge okay so they actually take the the tithe which is fine i can always get um dance of the mance to get it back so hopefully no to fairy this turn but if they do tap out then we're probably okay folio fancies Sure. So I'm going to bounce the folio. That's perfect. Just set them back, I think. Or actually, you know what? What are the chances they have removal for Teferi now? This seems like Esper Mill. I'm gonna plus this turn. If they give us, let us draw cards, it's fine. And if they try to mill us, then that's also okay. 
Okay, they're just conceding. Let me give it a quick reset. Just so we don't get any leg. I gotta dust my PC. I'm waiting for my Amazon order to come in. Anybody brewing anything right now for the new set? I know it's still a little early, but seeing what we can uh, put together. All right, we'll play another one. If the opponent kind of concedes early, we'll just jump into ranked. Nice. Well, uh, you got, you're in the early streamer as well, right, Titans? You got part of our creator? Yeah, I posted, um, is it uh, like the cycling turtle? So it's the cycling turtle, the one, the new legendary one. I'm going to keep this in. Seems reasonable. Against the aggro, I can fey and then even if need be shatter. Yeah, I'm brilliant. we should share before the event, even if when we go live, we can uh, direct challenge each other if you want. Jeskai Dinos. Yeah, there's a lot of weird... I don't know how good Mutate's going to be, to be honest. It seems like you just like four for one yourself, unless there's some decent Enter the Battlefield ones. I'm going to have to play around a bit more with that. Okay, so Stomping Ground can be a couple decks right now. Yeah, I guess Marauding Raptor is something. The one I, I want to try doing um, the Menace, the Menace uh, Dinosaur, and then you do. Uh, okay, so this is probably Teamerek. The Menace Dinosaur, then you do Stormfist Crusader, the new three mana, the double black, choose your keywords. So we're not really well suited, I think, against. I think you do that as a shell, and then you um, you just kind of build like how you're playing your knights deck. You just throw some ember cleaves and stuff in there, um, like uh, spawn of mayhem, stuff like that. So trying to find some action here. Okay, so Teferi's good. Double Teferi's nice. Let's see if this sticks. Okay, so they have the dispute. Uh, I'm probably going to keep the land here. Okay, so they have wreck. Don't have a play there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just gotta force this. They only have two cards in hand. If this blows two mystical disputes out of their hand, they get a row back and then I just exile it, which is fine. Uh, probably want another blue source. Okay. Just bounce this. Set some back mana wise. Because I could Conquer's Death next turn. Actually, one, two, three, four. Yeah, they dragon fire. So I guess that was the downside of doing that. Actually, probably what we do here. So I can take them off this, that, or I can take them off their graveyard. I think we go. I think we go this. Okay. 
Because what I could have done is Fae for Ashiok in the sideboard and then Exile. And then this can get us back one of our Teferis. Okay, the explosion. So they are going to refill a bit. They do have enough to get Uro back. But we have answers for Uro right now. Probably just Cavalier it, because then it gives us a threat to start attacking in. And then we can start cycling it with Elspeth. Would like to see Smothering Tide sometime. This is also nice because it'll um, tax the opponent. And they escape. They exiled their other Uro. Okay, so we're good for lands. Ooh, that's very good. Um, I'm gonna go Cavalier here. They get a 3-3 out of this. I'm going to pop this at end step too. They get a 3-3, but this allows me to put some pressure on them. And then this is better suited to hit a Reclamation. So I want to try to find Smothering Tides here. Attack in. So I actually think we just go do this now. Discard Birth of Melides. Okay. Cast out this Birth of Melides, get a land, play Omen of the Sea, or Temple of Enlighten. Teferi comes in with an extra counter or two, which is nice. I think we just go like this. Teferi buys us some opportunity. Plus we have Conqueror's Death as well. The one thing taking three points of damage here, if they have Dragonfire, they could have exiled our Cavalier. Okay, that's fine. Do they have a Brazen Borrower? Okay, they just concede. So they actually haven't seen any of the combo. Yeah, Tessus. Um, there'll be a little widget here. I did make a couple minor changes. I took out the Narsets, so I'll post the updated list right after I'm streaming. Um, so I do think we kind of shift our plan here. I'm going to go down to Shatter the Skies, bring in two Arkans, and then bring in the Vetoes. I think that's it. Coming out, two cards, two cards. Probably, actually, we can copy their wreck, but it doesn't do too much. Like, I want these for Uro, but yeah, because usually what they do is, actually, post-board, they usually bring in um, Night Pack Ambusher. So I probably want th more sweepers. The Cavaliers can come out. And then... Probably just a mirror maid. Run it like that. Actually, probably want more mirror maids than smothering tides. Because then I could tutor up a smothering tide as well. Because this can copy Conquer's Death. 
yeah i had like one tez and i've never i've always just played it as like a one of or in like uh brawl so this is nice just to tutor it up So we're likely going to be facing more mystical disputes this game. Sweet. How about enter tapped? Game one, we were, we went as far as fetching for, or match one, we fetched for the. Emergency powers, but then the opponent conceded. Spectral Sailor. Okay. That's an interesting tech. I guess it draws them cards. They most likely have a counter spell. Do you think we want Conquer's Death? It's just a good catch up card. So the question here like, if we get Tez down or Tef down, we're in a good spot. I actually think we just go Fey of Wishes on defense here. It blocks Spectral Sailor. Okay, Bathas's intervention. That gets a counter out of their hand. We're not on that quick of a clock. Okay, so they pay five, so that's probably draw a card dispute. Force these counters out of them. Frilled Mystic. Okay, so this is the, I guess, the Flash variant. So, do you want a board wipe here? That speeds up the clock quite a bit. Alright, let's hope the last one's not a counter. Perfect. So we can exile that. That gives us an opportunity to get to Teferi from our yard. And then we can hopefully go from there. Sweet. So I'm going to do this. This lets us start getting some advantage. I get to fairy back next turn. I can mirror maid and then have four mana up to search with Fey of Wishes. Okay, they're not giving us treasure. So loyalty counter here. So with Fey, one, two, three, four. So I'm one short of actually being able to do what I want. So I think we just set it up to try to combo. Opponent's probably reading, thinking this isn't the blue-white control list I signed myself up for. Okay. 
So I do think we plus here. And then that lets me Fay on their end step for emergency powers. And then we should be able to loop through for it. So we have the setup there. They might opt to explosion the Teferi. See what they do. Take the point here. No more game. Sure. Draw your cards, give me treasure. I kind of like this tech. It gets down early and puts a clock. Thank you. My turn. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's one less land we draw. They can't explosion us anyways. We're going to get a ton of tokens here. Okay, so didn't get another Fey. Uh, let's put the Omen of the Sea into play. 22 here. So for those unfamiliar, Faye wishes I cast it. And then I could bounce it back. Um, probably okay with both. Honestly, it doesn't really matter at this point. So we cast Faye of Wishes. Okay, they've seen enough. So basically, you cast Fae of Wishes, you bounce back to your hand, you cast Granted, go get another Emergency Powers, cast Emergency Powers, replay this, do it uh, three times, three more times, get a ton of mana, go get Tezzeret, use Tezzeret's plus ability to one-shot your opponent. This deck is sweet. It's blue-white, but so much jankier. All right, let's run one more. I'm just gonna give Arena a quick reset and then pop in for one more, see how it goes. I love me some uh, janky combo decks. It's surprisingly good against the flash decks too, just with enough redundancy to get the fairy down. Um, I got the idea off like a channel fireball list, um, but they had like a lot of like one of wishboard stuff, like all the finales, everything like that. There's just like so many redundant win conditions. Um, so I just kind of tweaked out the sideboard. I may want to even just cut the Cavaliers or the, um, yeah, I might cut the Cavaliers, put the Pegasus main, and then, uh, just have mystical disputes in the sideboard as well. If counters are bad, Sand's not doing anything for us. I'll keep this one. Put away a Fae of Wishes. Okay, well, need some mana. If we can hit our mana. Ooh, this matchup's gonna be awful. You know what? This is unranked. They're going to bounce all their stuff. Let's just fire up another one. I don't enjoy playing against Clover. It's a very long game. And it, the matchup's probably going to be atrocious. Because when we think about it, we need to get some critical mass of spells on the board. And if they're just going to be bouncing everything with Brazen Borrower copied multiple times, it's going to be tough to do so. Okay, play first. You 
Ah, we got lions. No more lions. I said no more lions. So not sure what we're up against yet. If it's an aggro deck, might play out Fae defensively. gonna fake like we have a uh, counter spell okay, so another team of wreck literally drawing nothing but lions has been uh, not that delightful maybe want like revoke existence or disenchant in the sideboard Could be something worth trying out. Another team of wreck. They're playing negate. Since when did they switch to negate? They usually play Thassa's intervention and mystical dispute. Try this out. I think they got us this one though. They're far enough ahead. Honestly, was not expecting that. Um, we'll play the vetoes. Do I want the Ashiok main? Probably. And then Ashiok can deal with their graveyard. It's another target. And then we go like this and then play more of an enchantment beatdown. Try it like that. Cause like that's the right play there. Like, if you throw that out, they're holding up the blue mana, which they showed with the Uro the turn before that they are holding up for Mystical Dispute. They don't have the third mana, so they can't pass as Intervention for three. Like, they had Negate. And then from that point, you untap, you have Reclamation, and then you kind of go off. This hand doesn't do much. I think we need them all. Okay, keep this one. So I actually need to find an untapped source here. Otherwise this birth doesn't come into play. Perfect. Perfect. If I could sneak the fairy down, then we're okay. Let's see if they get prioritized getting blue man up. And I think in this matchup, we just jam stuff. They're going to have more counters than we are. So I can play a turn and try to play around Dispute. But like if they have Uro, then the chances are they play it out anyways. You know what? 
Dispute me. Add it. Yeah, I think we need to change the sideboard up a bit. Legion War Boss is interesting. Cool. Here's my Pegasus. I'm going to sneak this in over the Smothering Tide just because guarantees we can play it. Now they could have Brazen Borrower. They used Uro. We can always um, tutor for a board wipe from the side. So this nets us life, which is nice. Three cards in their grave. Let's thin out our deck a bit. Getting some life. So one a shock. They're giving us the mana. And a robber of the riches. So, probably want another white source here. Gonna kill the war boss just because it's making them go wide. So I can fay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could thought distortion. Nah, I'm probably just... I, I came here to emergency powers. I'm gonna pay like this. And then just say, get the scry. That's very good. And then we'll just play back on defense. Because we'll have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think we tried to get a counter out of their hand this turn. So we can try to force this emergency powers on their turn. We do have seven mana. Nah, you know what? Let's just try to get a Teferi. Or advance our... They most likely have counters. Ashiok and Mirror Maid. 
Both seem decent, because that also gives us a token. So that gives us the token. We can go from there. Poking for one here. Oh, I forgot that's got reach. Never seem to remember this has reach on it. So they can Uro. So I'm going to emergency powers in response. Before they're able to put blue mana into play. This could be our window. Sweet. So we got another Fae of Wishes for another emergency powers. Actually, though, I should have waited for it to come in and then go trigger on the stack. Because the thing is, they got more options for lands here. So that could be Thassa's Intervention. So, what I think we're going to do here... We're gonna fave wishes. I'm gonna get thought distortion. Strip their hand. So I don't have enough for that, but we go Thought Distortion here. Cast Thought Distortion. Strip their hand. And then we just set up for a following turn. Like this more. They might have taken out the Reclamation, to be honest. Double War Boss. Sure. Um, just gonna pass the turn here. So they can attack with their arrow. They do get this robber trigger. Let's make them attack. So I'm going to set it up so they get something bad on top. That also gives us a two two. Um, I'm doing this just so they get the land. And having more lands not bad at this point. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so... You block you, you block you, you block you, and you go here. Yeah, they're basically dead at that point. So we were going to be able to loop through our deck. Um, probably want more board wipes. Put Ashiok in the side. Probably run it like that. I still want a board wipe that I can tutor for. And then having these vetoes still seems reasonable just to push through some of our spells. I wonder if they now go back to the reclamation plan. Yeah, this sounds good. Double board wipes also nice. No growth spiral there is good. And if they like Legion's War Boss here, I'm fine with it. I'm gonna take the Smothering Tithe. Omen's a great draw there, because it lets us play something out afterwards. They shock. Kind of want veto. Birth's not bad. So like birth gives me something to play this turn. It'll give me a blocker against some sort of aggressive threat. And this might get them to counter. They might think we're short on lands. Perfect. Again, if they're wasting their mana to counter that, I'm happy. Probably want another white. Um, they likely have counters. Now the question is, do we force out the counters? Probably not. Like I can use my mana. So we would have got countered by that. Probably gonna have to go the long game here. Okay, so they got War Boss. The nice thing is I could Conquer's Death that. Chemistry is not bad. Don't have anything in the yard right now, but I think getting War Boss off the battlefield. Mind you, like, what are the chances it's negate again? How many negates are they actually playing? Take a turn and play Tithe. 
let's go. Let's conquer some death. This also taxes them the following turn, so it makes their counters a lot worse. One, two, three, four. So we are punished there. Very punished. That's mine. Vito is very nice here. I could counter whatever spell they play. And then because they're paying a bit more for it. We don't get anything off this Conqueror's Death, unfortunately. I don't think I like these smaller creatures as much as the flash threats. So I can almost get Uro back. Can probably take another hit. I want him to get Uro and then I'll uh, sweep the board. See what the play here is. I think it's worth countering this. Don't want to let them refill their hand. So they can get Uro back. And we lost our, we've already used our two counters. So the card in hand was an Uro. It's going to give us some mana at least, and it seems like their counters are all pay X. They didn't leave up... Oh, the, I'm surprised they did that instead of casting Uro. Okay, well, we know it's it's free for us to play this. And they can play Uro. They keep both on top. Well, that's that's a tad terrifying. So we're gonna chemisters on end step. Smothering tide in the face of Uro generates a lot of value for us. Especially if they're going to grow spiral. Oh, they might go blast zone to blow up the smothering tide. But if they do that... Uh, Dance of the Mance reads how. Gotta see if I have enough mana for it. Return X target creatures with converted mana cost X or less. Okay. Oh, it blows up the wreck too. Oh, that seems very good for us. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Probably just go. Ashiok exile their graveyard. Yeah. 
Got him the fairway. So that basically takes him out of all their value. Because then I would have played Ashia, or played the Fey, bounce it back to hand, and then kind of do the loop again. It's next sweet. I do think we need to fix up the sideboard a bit. Um, and then just have a little bit more reactionary cards, probably some counter spells, and then go from there. But uh, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for stopping by. This deck was sweet. And uh, probably played on the rank ladder. It seemed decent enough against like Team Wreck and stuff that we can probably play it through. Uh, anyways, thanks for stopping by, and have a great one.